Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 991. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 989 to 993, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we need to create these sequential numbers. 1.1, 1.2, all the way down to 1.5, and then go to the next sequential number, 2.1, 2.2, down to 2.5, and create a formula we can copy way down. Now, when looking at this sequence of numbers here, there's two parts. There's the one that's repeated many times and the two that's repeated many times. And then there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So sequential numbers that repeat two different parts to this number. Now let's build each individual part separately and then we'll mash them all together in a single formula. So for this type of sequence, we can use the ceiling function, but we'll start with the inside part of the formula, the rows. And the rows we can use an expandable range. So I'm going to, I'm sitting in C7, so I'm going to type C dollar sign 7, colon C7. That's an expandable range. That 7 is locked, this one is not. So when I control enter and copy it down, you can see here, oh, the range is 7 to 10, and rows reports how many rows there are in a range. Down here, 7 to 11 is 5. Now we have 1 to 10. We can divide this number by 5. Now, F2, I highlighted the whole range. And in the active cell, I hit F2, divide by 5. So that 5 represents how many times we're repeating each sequential number. All right, so now we have something we can work with. 0.2 all the way up to 1, and then 1.2 all the way up to 2, we can simply use the ceiling function and round all of these up to the nearest integer, which would be 1, and all of these up to the nearest integer, which would be 2. So highlight the range, F2 that active cell, and I'm going to put this inside the ceiling. Now in 2010, there's ceiling.math, which is great for negative numbers, but we don't have any negative numbers, so I'm just using ceiling comma and the significance, I always want to go up to the next integer, control enter. Absolutely beautiful. Now, for these numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we're going to use the mod function. And the mod function gives us a remainder. We actually are going to use the same formula number incrementer, rows with an expandable range, so E dollar sign, 7 colon E7. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. That gives us 1 to 10. Now, we don't want 1 to 10. We want 0 to 9 for this one. So F2 minus 1. Control Enter to populate that formula all the way down. Now, what's 0 divided by 5? Well, it's 0. One, meaning, sorry, the remainder, 0 divided by 5, the remainder is 0. 1 divided by 5, the remainder is 1. So F2. I'm going to use the mod function, which gives us the remainder. That's the number, the divisor. There's that 5 again, right? Because we're changing the sequence every 5 numbers. Control Enter. That gives us 0 to 4. F2, we simply add 1 back in. Control Enter. So there we have our two formula elements. I'm going to actually copy the cell, control C, and paste it over here. Notice our G dollar sign 7 G7 works fine, because that's referring to that cell right there. Now this one, I'm actually going to do a little trick here. I'm going to highlight in edit mode, control C, put this into edit mode. Now we're going to need to have a period. I need to join this formula element with a period and then the third formula element. So I'm going to use the join symbol, Shift-7, to get that ampersand. I need a period. It's text, so I have to put it in double quotes. And then finally, a second ampersand to join my third formula element. Now, notice this cell reference is pointing to the wrong way, so I'm going to point to the edge. And with my Move cursor, I'm going to click and drag. Notice also. Most formulas will give you a circular reference when you're referring to the cell that the formula is in. But no way, C rows and the related columns functions don't do that. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. And you can copy this down you know, as far as you want. And boom, you're going to have your sequential numbers. Uh, for more about incrementing numbers, uh, there's a playlist of uh, eight videos that show you all sorts of cool tricks with inc incrementing numbers.
Now, one last thing. Notice that this is uh, spitting out text. And the reason why is when you join uh, text, it becomes a text string. If for some strange, strange reason you wanted it as a number, I'm going to Control C and Control V. Notice all of our cell references are working. We could do any math operation on a number that's stored as text, and it converts it back to a number. Now, wait a second. When I'm looking at this, I see plus 1. Isn't that a math operation? But check this out. Excel's order of operations plus is uh, calculated before the join symbol. So what's happened is this is an a, a temporarily a number, but then since this is calculated last, the whole thing is a text. So no problem. We're going to put parentheses around this whole thing. And then I'm going to like add 0. Whoops. Plus 0. And then Control Enter. Oh, we can see that it's aligned over there. Double click and send it down. So if for some reason you needed it as a number, there you go. All right, we'll see you next trick.